Abdala from Hoover News Network, HNN, second grade. Today I'm going to tell you about the life story of stars and black holes. All stars that are born from clouds are, are clouds of hydrogen, gas, helium gas, and dust, such as a cloud called a nebula. Over time, the star is born as the gas that's pulled in together by gravity. The star becomes what is called a main sequence star. It is similar to our sun today. The temperature inside the star can be as high as 15 million degrees. A star lives for millions to billions of years. However, the heavier and larger the star, the shorter its life. After a billion years, the hydrogen inside the star is all used up. The star will start to die. It becomes larger and redder in color. This is called the red giant. The temperature inside the red giant can be as high as 200 million degrees. If the star is small, like our sun, then as it dies, it will become a white dwarf. Eventually, it comes a black dwarf and stays like that forever. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> if the star was large, the star would be a red giant to make an explosion called the supernova. star was just larger, a little larger than our sun. After the supernova becomes a nebula, neutron, neutron star. If the star was really huge after the supernova, it would become a black hole, like this. So we're really surprised. smaller but they have very strong gravity they can even suck up light rays into them that is why nobody can see them because light just disappears there thank you for listening to this story of the life cycle of stars A story by Lena Wadala from H <laughs> and as Jimmy Neutron's needlehead alien friends say, Mibs, Mibs, Mibs! Mibs Entertainment. <laughs>